Hi, I'm Kimberly. I'm an instructor at the Elkridge DIY Center. Today we're going to be upcycling book pages into a wreath. The supplies we'll be using for today's project are old book pages that we'll be upcycling. You may wish to use a book that maybe has the spine separating from the pages, has lost some pages, or maybe got a little bit of water damage. A wire wreath form. The one that I have found here is 14 inches and it was found at a dollar store. A length of ribbon or string. Glue gun and glue sticks. I like to use a highlighter or marker to keep my fingers away from the hot glue. And optionally, you can have paint and paintbrush to paint the edges of your pages. In the past, I've had patrons use graphic novels for the book pages. Here's a photo of one example. It's a great way to add some visual interest, but just keep in mind that the thicker and glossier pages are a little bit stiffer and they will require a little more patience when you're placing the fluff for your wreath. The glue will take a little bit longer to set, so just have some patience, but it can end up looking great. This first step is optional. If you want, you can take your book and go ahead and paint the edges. This will give a little bit of definition to the sides of your project, um, and just paint it while it's all still together. It'll be easier to get them just a light, really light coat right along the edge and go all the way around on that paper. And we're gonna go ahead and, I chose red, you can do any color. I've seen some uh, do it with like a metallic. It ends up really nice. Just really light coat, so you don't have to wait too long for it to dry. <laughs> go ahead and set that aside to dry. As we're waiting for those pages to dry, you might want to just fan them out a little bit so that they don't stick together. Now, painting the edges is completely optional. If you were going to use a graphic novel or something with illustrations, I probably wouldn't do it because you already have enough extra visual interest, but it's something that I like to do just to give a little bit extra dimension to my project. So we're just going to take a length of ribbon, tie it along one of these reinforced sections of the wire. And then put the ugly side down and we'll be covering that up with paper. Now this next part feels wrong to my book lover heart, but we're going to take some the pages out of the book and we're going to need approximately 150 to 200 pages to cover. Just tear them out as close as you can to the spine. I'm trying to leave the spine intact as much as I can because I am going to use the outside cover of this book for another project. Keep in mind these books would have been just sent to the recycle bin so we are upcycling it into something else. Once you have enough pages to get started with, we can go ahead and start covering our wreath form. We're then 
going to start wrapping the pages around the wreath form and hot gluing them on just to give the rest of the wreath something to grab onto. So be really careful every time with hot glue. I'm just gonna wrap it around and then apply lots of hot glue liberally. Wrap paper around all the way around that wreath form. After we're done with this part, it's not going to look pretty, but it's just the beginning. should now look something like this covered up it's not too pretty but it provides a good base and something to grab onto for the rest of our wreath now we're going to make what I call the fluffy part of the wreath you're just going to form these by taking your highlighter or marker putting it in the middle of the page and just crumpling the page right around it and then putting hot glue on the end and we're going to start attaching these to the wreath form. So we're going to make the fluffy part by, again, putting the highlighter in the middle, crumpling the paper around it, glue gun on the end, and pasting it right on the form. Now we're just going to keep on doing this all the way around the wreath. My math use teacher used to say it's the plug and chug method. Once you know how to do it, you just keep on applying the same technique over and over. And that is a lot of what this project is. It's just the same technique over and over again.
your wreath up, take a step back and check it out. Just check for any bald patches, sections that might need a little filling in, and make sure it looks nice and round all the way on, around the edges. Taking a look up close, you can see the edges of the paper where I painted. You can see it adds just a little bit extra dimension. Not too much, it's just a little bit of visual interest. I hope you enjoyed today's upcycling project. Check out other classes on the DIY playlist on HCLS's YouTube channel.